This is the grace of God to prepare the church for the time. You see, because no one preached the times to you. No one showed you the signs. We could not unite or align heavenly time and earthly time. We could not align heaven and earth. We could not align God and mankind. And this is, this is why I exist. I do not exist to lord over you. I exist so that I can come and seek and save that which was lost. Wow. Friends, I absolutely tremble that even Zandra has the idea that like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He is coming to seek and save that what is lost. You know, this is simply blasphemy. You know, when Jesus speaks to Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19 verse 10, He identifies Himself as the Sovereign Lord who is the source of all salvation not Zandre. And this is what is bothersome with this whole movement or cult, is that they are attacking the sovereignty and the work and person of Jesus Christ. We need to tell people that what they're harboring, what they're preaching is a false and insufficient gospel. Could God and man be aligned before the coming of Zandre Christ Stratum and his supposed church? Let me tell you what Jesus said. When we look at Jesus and when Jesus speaks, for instance, in John chapter 3 verse 17, he says, for God did not send his son in into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him Jesus nowhere declares that there's going to be another savior or another entity or another person coming that will evoke a new gospel or a new dispensation. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15, Paul speaks to Timothy and he says, This is a trustworthy saying, worthy of full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of who I am the worst. That was the purpose of Christ. And so when Jesus speaks to Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19 verse and he says that he came to seek and save the lost. He saved whoever was given to him. In 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18, Peter even says, For indeed Christ died for our sins once and for all, the just, the righteous, for the unjust and the unrighteous, the innocent for the guilty, so that he might bring us to God. The moment you believe that Zandre is now your savior, you have to deduce that the gospel was not sufficient in itself. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10, for instance, says, And by that will we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ once and for all. Now, what Christ to me does is they say, but there's something more. There's another reality outside of what Christ have accomplished that we need to now lay a hold of. And in doing so, they deduce that whatever was preached firstly by Jesus Christ was not sufficient in itself. This is simply blasphemy. Zandre did not come to seek and save the lost.